Hello everyone, my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching the Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 38 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial, successfully designed this one, the footer section. So in this tutorial, we are going to work into getting the links from the database from our uh, contact table from here. So we will get this, uh, all the links are here dynamically. <laughs> So how can you do this simply I'm come back from here going to e-learning and going to INC and then I'm okay 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 so let's first of all uh, create our PHP page with the question mark PHP question mark PHP end and control S to save and you will save this uh, page with the function dot PHP as we save in our admin panel so in the same way we will create uh, this page to getting all the function from the different different pages so i'm going to save this file from here okay and we will attach that file at the top of the header just because header is available on the all pages so we will simply include that uh, header oh sorry function file which is coming from inc and function dot php okay so now our file is included from here so let's come back here into the function.php and create one function like uh, okay okay not like that function add link okay so we'll create this function from here with the head links so now the next task is we need to get the the uh database file so we will going to uh, uh, admin here and we will copy this file from here and paste that file from our inc folder from here okay so now our file is included here so i'm simply going to use include function and from here i'm said that inc slash db dot php means our database file is uh, coming from here so now the next task is i'm going to create one variable with the get link equal to dollar con and then prepare statement and then double quote select star from uh, contact okay so now i'm going to set the set fetch mode here get link set fetch mode so our set fetch mode is pdo fetch underscore asoc okay the next one is get underscore link and then we are going to execute that one from here okay so here we are going to use a row variable to get the, uh, to fetching the data from the database table so we will use a fetch function from here we doesn't use here while loop just because we need to get only one record from there so for one record we doesn't you we don't need to use a while loop so we do not use the while loop here so i'm going to simply echo that one from here and now i'm coming back from here and i'm going to the header.php and here just to get here so just what we are going to do here just copy this ul and control exit and create one php and we say that uh, echo head underscore uh, what's that tape uh, head link head underscore link okay And now we will paste that uh, ul from here by this so let's uh, change with the facebook dot com www dot 
We also used to https semicolon slash slash www.facebook.com slash okay as the same way we are going to use here we will copy this one from here by control C paste that one by control V as the same way we will change it with the Twitter twitter.com slash as the same way we use a Google Plus and as the same way we will use a YouTube link from here youtube.com and as the same way we will use a LinkedIn linkedin.com slash that one and use your uh, Google dot com slash okay so now the next task is we need to get the username all the website username which is coming from here so how can you get that one so double quotes dot dot dollar row and here we are going to use an FB just because we have a FB column here okay so let's check we are going to refresh that one so you can see that so now also we need to set one more thing from here from the all so we are going to use here target equal to single quote underscore blank which means this page open separately so you can see that oh not from here not from here sorry 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 from here we will target that one also from here also from here and from here okay so let's see it is working or not so just when I click on this one so it will be redirect me on to my Facebook page so when I click on this one so you can see that okay 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 you can see that our Facebook page is coming from here you can see that you can see that as the same way we will use our Twitter ID from here dot dot dollar row TW okay as the same way let's copy this one from here to here here and then here so for the google plus we use a gp from here and for the youtube we use a yt from here and for the youtube uh, linkedin we use li from here okay link so now i'm going to refresh that one so you can see that when i click on this one so it will be redirect me on to my youtube channel you can see that it will be redirect me onto the, my YouTube channel. So that all are coming from dynamically from the database. You can see that this is my LinkedIn account page not found just because of my LinkedIn ID is different from here. As an example purpose, we add that one. Okay. So this is the way how can you get the, all the information from here into the social account. So guys, I think this is enough for today. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll meet you in next tutorial. In next tutorial, we are going to working on this uh, this uh, category. How can we get that category dynamically from here? So I will add some more categories from here to. Uh, we will meet you in next tutorial. I will add some category from here. So, thanks all for watching guys. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. We will meet you in next tutorial. Goodbye.